Good morning. Um, it is January 25th and I just finished the other vlog yesterday. Okay, this is such a weird angle, but I'm here for it. The camera is so heavy to carry it like this is stressful. So we'll just put it down and we're going to talk like that. So anyway, um, so it's January 25th, uh, which this is just the beginning of the February vlog. Um, hope you guys are great. Now, I um it's now 11 28 and i am just beginning my day i started my day out a little bit late today but i have some reels to edit and some water to finish oh i came here so to talk about water uh, not necessarily water but some habits that i am now inculcating for february so around last year i don't remember whether it was november that was the last time i like was very serious in movement and so it's been a while since i actively moved um when i was in nairobi around december i did include a walk almost every day because i had deliveries to do and i would just decide to walk instead of uh instead of taking uh cab or matter too so um so that's the last time like i actively moved and uh, i'm trying to inculcate that habit back and so i been wondering what is the most sustainable way to do this or how can i do it very sustainably because again when it gets too stressful or when it gets too complicated um your mind just shuts off and you get tired and so i've been just introducing like small snippets of movement here and there so the whole of last week um i don't know if i mentioned it in january vlog but the whole of last week we've been going for evening walks so that's a way that i can go i can get in some movement and we can get into movement without it being too stressful for him and um it's been going great and I just wanted to add on something. So I started that concept last week. So it was, I just picked like two really good habits that I wanted to include. And I picked taking water. So I am, this is the goal. This is, it's just over half a liter of water and it's the goal in just terms of water. Uh, it's the goal that i have for the day not because i can't take more but i don't like the whole going to the toilet all the time like it's frustrating <laughs> i don't like it and um it's like the amount of water that i can just sip on slowly that doesn't make me go to the toilet all the time which i appreciate uh, and it's also because my diet does include fair amounts of liquids so it's not like i'm being de dehydrated or anything so this is the one that I, ca I came up with so sometimes i take when i'm thirsty i take more than that but that's 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 just like ground level and then i do some movement so walking is now a constant um every day every single day um do a little bit of walking uh, sometimes i'm going to also take deliveries to dispatching deliveries i also walk yeah and then now i started to skip so i'm wearing workout regalia you can see um i'm working wearing workout regalia because i just keep, did my 500 this morning uh 500 is just that it's nice sweet spot when i have more time i do more but 500 is like the base uh and i want to try and do that every single week today is day two so like every single day so today is day two it's been great i woke up this morning and all my whole body was aching because um yesterday like even my abs like i didn't do any ab workout but my abs my 
hands my legs everything was just aching <laughs> it was crazy because it really gets uncomfortable i hate um the day after the next day after working out it's just crazy but yeah so that's what i am inculcating and i'm excited about that <laughs> place where they told you what to chase told you how to run the race every move was on the page but i didn't like their way had to fight and misbehave had to find a way to change had to leave to find my way caught up in a daydream i beat my mind up there almost daily it's how i pass time no opinions safely it's how i understand what i want in this place see because everybody want to tell you bad things what could go wrong what fame brings but success is a finicky thing and if you ain't sure no it'll never be I don't wanna let myself down, myself Today is uh, today is Wednesday, twenty sixth January. Um, we're in the next vlog. So the last time we talked was last night. Did we even talk? I was the last time we filmed. I was making some stew because um, well, um, so I was making some stew because it had to be made. And I ended up doing a whole bunch of cleaning, so the house is nice and neat. And babe did wake up today and finish it. And then I sat down to edit a reel, which took me a while. And then I went to sleep, um, except I didn't. So I went to bed at around 2 a.m. Except I did not fall asleep at all, at all, at all. And uh, so what happened? was I stayed awake until five, just around five. Um, when I woke me up and I was like, man, I can't sleep. Um, he proceeded to give me one of the best massages in my life. Um, the whole trying to be active is making my body sore and I'm so intensely uncomfortable. And then that coupled up with me not being able to switch my mind off is doing a number on me. So I managed to fall asleep around six, maybe just after six, but around six. Um, and that was nice until I was awake about two, two and a half, almost three hours later. Um, it was a good nap, yeah. Except I have tried to nap again. And it's not working. So this day is solely dedicated to make me actually sleep. Um, I'm worried because it's already one. So I technically shouldn't sleep because it's going to fuck up the rest of my sleep pattern. But uh, I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, I came here to wear some sunscreen. I intended to wear some sunscreen then be derailed me. That derailing was amazing. But... He derailed me 
and then I'm here now um, after I have just bought some things for the house totally impulse um, and I'm here to wear my sunscreen remembering the demo the pediatrics demo pediatric sunscreen the Shaka fluid Shaka fluid demo demo pediatric sunscreen and um, so it comes in a spray thingy but it's liquid so I was going to talk about sunscreens at some point God my mind is everywhere this is January forgive me um so yes that's what we're gonna wear so I engaged in a conversation a few weeks ago um on Facebook and I found people reviewing this sister product the one that's not for kids and talking and with those this we were just talking back and forth about how this can make you feel some type of oily and uh, I remember then we were talking about how how much is enough because someone was saying you should use at least and I'm like no sunscreen doesn't work like that um, then they asked the a big question, which is how many sprays then is enough for this? So the standard practice is half a teaspoon. I don't know why I always thought it was a quarter, but half a teaspoon uh, for your face and neck and I think ears. And uh, how much does that translate to? So I did my little science experiments, which I'm going to do for a real, not now. And I found that if you're using, especially the Anthelios line from Larche Pate, you'll need about 11 to 12 pumps, sprays. So that is going to look a bit like this. It's going to look a little bit like that. It's really light. It's going, it's going to look a little bit like that. And we just gonna put it there. Also, I think it's this. Well, I know the the baby shaka, uh, the one in a smaller bottle, stains your clothes. So if you've seen your whites with like a, a stain that looks like a sweat stain, and you're wondering what the hell, and I'm not wearing any makeup on your white shirt, it's this shit. It stains your clothes. Um, it's just the downside of chemical sunscreen. So I am trying to plan for shooting reels for journals, and I'm so blank. Ouch. And I'm so blank about what those should look like. I am so so blank, and I'm gonna sit here and 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 try and think about that because I need to finish that before I go and have something to eat, so that I can have a food coma and stop thinking about my life for a bit and maybe sleep. They wanna say my name, but 
They holding back, they wanna say they hate But they know it's cap, I ain't playing no games I just do that's fact and I don't feel no shame It's a mood you lack, I go crazy Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy Track after track, I work on the shit daily Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy About to unpack all these shit I've been chasing I've got visions in my head Like memories after death To be a legend instead Of something you can forget I'm living up every breath I'd rather leave than be led I'll fill the seats as I spread With every word that I've said You have just worked out with me and made some cold brew tea with me, mm, which I'm going to have as I start my day. So usually this is the juncture where I would be filling my bottle and taking. And sometimes you see, I don't account for this, which is why I was saying that my goal is just half a liter because not that I need more, I don't know, but just because I have like tea time, I have some just some times, I have fruit and all those things that have a lot of water. Anyway, good morning. Um, thanks for chilling out with me this morning. I have two new visitors uh, who I will need to pimple patch at some point. But uh, yes, I've been using Tread for maybe now a week uh skipping some dates because i still have my eczema patch here that gets angry from time to time but i have been using tret and i don't know if this is the purging stage because anyway my skin's been pretty good uh i don't know if this is the purging stage but i'm having like a tiny bit of more outbreaks than usual yeah, so good morning. I am waiting on a parcel today. Um, that parcel is for home. Um, it's for the bed. I bought a few pillowcases that uh, will spruce up the bed a little bit, which we're about to go make. Um, yeah, so that's cool. I had a full night of sleep, which is fantastic. Considering the previous night I was just operating on two hours of sleep. Funny enough, I wasn't necessarily tired or the usual grumpy, cranky self of me. But it was crazy because I couldn't sleep. And so yesterday we tried to pull all stops so that I could sleep. And I slept, which was great. So I slept, I woke up, and even worked out. I'm feeling kind of psyched for the day i do have a bit of things to do i did edit two reels which is great um i have to shoot for journals i've been saying through i think this whole video that i have to shoot for journals but i'm blank it's just one of those things i'm having my fruit platter i almost thought that i didn't have a fruit to eat this morning but i do i have started this thing of just eating a fruit or something really light in the morning uh, I would have taken coffee. It's really hot and I don't understand iced coffee yet. So I instead I eat fruit and then I just drink water and chill. They're around 12. I'm going to eat now like properly. The one that's going to possibly give me a food coma. That's what I'm going to do. Anyway, good morning. How are you guys doing? I can't wait to open packages with you guys oh also I remembered so I wanted to talk about something so I've been watching vlogs there's a point in my life in the past month maybe I, I didn't watch a lot of YouTube content I was either watching TikToks or 
Netflix. That that was it. I wasn't watching it much YouTube content. And so I was watching yesterday and I was watching people who do vlogs just like this one. And I miss I miss living in the city. Uh living in Nairobi has this thing of you get to go places, you get to go shops, you have a lot of things to do. I barely oh I didn't go boom. Sorry. I barely leave the house. I Apart from like going on my evening walk, which I do the exact same thing every day, uh, I barely leave the house. And my once a week grocery, which I'm not going to vlog for the life of me because I'm going to carry things, I barely leave the house. And I, I was watching a bunch of vlogs yesterday and I remember feeling so small and so like, why do you guys watch my content? because people out here are going to shops and stuff and I'm just doing desk work and working and working out and doing the mundane stuff so I don't know I just started feeling very insecure about my space in this little corner of the internet and I don't know how to decode that like I don't know how to do anything about that because anyway there's nothing to see around like i live in the heart of hearts and i don't have a farm to go take you harvesting spinach or something so i i don't know uh i do a lot of mundane desk work for the most part make my bed sometimes use up a space sometimes um try out clothes <laughs> but uh, it's crazy anyway um so i don't know how i can pivot maybe do something I don't know let's just say i'm confused about this space and i need to think about it a little bit more but i i'm feeling insecure um and if you know how much like things i've filmed and then i was like okay why does anybody want to watch this anyway um it's a lot what is that mess please behind me because yo anyway so i got a call when i was having my breakfast okay. So I got a call when I was having my breakfast at my, is it breakfast, brunch, when I was eating a few, like an hour, two hours ago, uh, that my bus had arrived, so I went to pick it up. Um, this is it, I'm going to open it real quick. Oh, okay. So I have new pillowcases. This are starting pillowcases, they could be a little bit washed up, but. Um, I need to mock that. Okay, so these are satin pillowcases. Um, they could be a little bit washed up, but I love them instantly. So we bought some satin pillowcases before um, from Low Secret, but they were really, really light, and they look some type of way. Oh my god, I love this so much. Uh, so I wanted to buy this, like, super... Uh, white ones if they work I am going to buy like a whole maybe three pairs just to complement what we have already um, this is heavy satin uh, this puzzle I should say is from home decor 254 and this satin pillowcases are the freaking truth they are and they have them in a bunch of colors I really next month i am going to order even if they are not on budget i'm gonna really really order those so i bought a pair of pillowcases because i've been feeling like our pillowcases are bland and i want to zhuzh up the bed a little bit um we need a fitted sheet because the sheets we have are all top sheets and they kind of come off when you sleep so we need a fitted sheet about three or four fitted sheets for the mattress that we have and then we also need pillowcases because they make your life look so much better so i am um, also uh, got some pillowcases for the decorative 45 by 45 pillows that i have so far i just have ones that are printed uh i don't, don't show you enough of that maybe but 
this is what they look like this is what i have so far and i wanted to ooh, ooh, ooh. then i wanted to change that with this so that i can have like an alternative look so i picked this print oh my god i am so 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 happy about this purchase because everything is such good quality my first uh decorative pillow covers i also bought from them and for these pillows that i have here i tried to buy from somewhere else this is be like a good cute couch one but i tried to buy from somewhere else and it just was not the same i am sold i absolutely love stuff from home for, uh home decor 254 and this this feels so good this feels fantastic oh my god this feels so nice uh so i'm going to decorate the sorry i'm going to decorate the bed with this at some point you'll see it in this vlog um and then i'll tell you how i like the bed so far but this this is such a game changer i can't wait to show b he's almost here he went for a, he went for a meeting and he's almost here it's almost four he's almost back and I can't wait to show him because it was an impulse buy and I thought he would give me flack for it. But I don't think he will actually. Um, so I can't wait to show him. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life. I never miss that stack, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat, put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag, cause I sing what I mean and I bring it to the mad light. Ain't got time to kill, I got time to fail, I took the red pill, I know life's short so I want I live real but how is it supposed to feel? I don't feel no shame, it's a mood you lack. I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track after track, I work on the shit daily. Um, hi. I will say good morning, even if it's afternoon. Good morning. I have just finished undoing my hair. You can see bits of it, it's dirty. But I do this thing where when I'm undoing my hair, I start with... I start with fast like I do my hand put twists in and just chill with it because my scalp is almost always sore when I'm finished doing my hair. So good morning. How are you guys doing? I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Now I had started recording uh, and then I had started recording and then my battery was like, sorry, my card became full like it stopped recording so i don't know if i'll include that there but i've been doing my hair i've been undoing my hair all morning i started at eight i started at eight and i was done at around 10 30. so this is how my hair looks like it's kind of a shattering me the way it's so like dirty uh but i've had the hair that i had in for maybe for about six no is it six weeks yeah just about six weeks it could be seven but about six weeks i'm not having the still visitors it's annoying my the rest of my face is pretty okay it's just that that um it's kind of painful but it's really 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 annoying and my hair is also really distracting me okay so so that's what I've been up to all morning. Now I do want to edit. So Bibi did this side of my hair and he didn't get the memo. 
that we usually try and just get that out before retwisting. So this is basically like what I usually do when I'm removing extensions. Um, yeah, it's been a while since I stayed with like twist for this long. So I do do that uh, and I try and break down this build up that's over here. I could pick a comb or a pick and just scrub because it's just a build up of oils and product and whatever that I've been applying to my hair over the course of six weeks. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I separate the hair with my fingers. My scalp is on fire right now. And I remove shed hair usually. So my my scalp shed hair shed hair. Yeah. So my scalp is on fire right now. Uh just just because that's what happens every time I remove slash do my hair, uh, which is a big reason why I do want to look for a permanent solution that doesn't have me dealing with scalp too much. And uh, yeah, God, you know, when I came on here, I had things to talk about. Now I'm just, I've just forgotten and I'm super distracted by this hair. So yeah, I had the hair in for six weeks and so what happened this time which i wasn't like too thrilled about is it's like she really went in with the holding because i feel like i do have a bald spot here i don't know i don't know but it does feel it pretty much feels like one i do have a bald spot over here because she like held really tiny pieces of hair in front here and now what happens is uh, what's happened is um, I felt like they were just checking with hair. I had some pieces of hair that just got out by the bulb. Like literally, it was just hanging over there, but they've gotten out from the root. Am I worried? Okay, I'm not so bothered, but I also don't want it for myself, you know? Like hair doesn't kill me. As much as it would, but I also don't want it for myself. So that's kind of disappointing. And I do want to nurse my health, nurse my hair health back. I am going to make a Mizani purchase, possibly by the end of this week. Um, we work that hair in back, but what the hell, man? What the hell, like, which hairline? Anyway. So now that that's out, I don't know what I'm going to do with my hair, which is now something else that usually really bothers me. Like I don't, I never know what to do with my hair for like two, three seconds. So I feel like I do want to make said transition that I've been talking about for a long time. Um, I want to make that transition when my hair is like in its healthier state, which means I have to calm down on doing tight styles and stuff on my hair for a while so that i don't know what where that leaves me but i don't think i'll be having like like so many options um maybe to do my own hair that way i can still have a protective style but but i'm not dying but i don't know so far i want to do twists i think that's what i'm going to do i'm gonna wash my hair um do a little straightening and then do some twists in and keep those twists in for for a while pass me the jack right as fuel got me hazy about to unpack all these things i've been chasing i've got visions in my head like memories after death to be a legend instead of something you can forget i'm living up every breath i'd rather leave them be led i'll fill the seats as i spread with every word that i've said I'm all smiling.
notes today uh, because I'm just happy. I had a sleep in this morning, which was fantastic. I didn't think that my body was that tired because I have set my alarm to fast ring at 6.45 and then 30 minutes later because uh, I'm just trying to get to that sweet seventh sport so when it rings the first time I'm like oh and then I can wake up at 7 because I feel like 7 is like the amazing time to wake up. Anyway so I had set my alarm and then I woke up <laughs> but then I was like um, cattles are nice. And so we had a little bit of a sleep in today. I we ended up waking up at eight thirty, about eight thirty. Um which is not necessarily a sleep in, but that is sleep in to people who had to work today. Anyway, so good morning. I am doing great. I have just I'm just from filming filming a reel, uh, which now I want to think about the creative direction of editing. I have a fair share of editing to do, and that is what I want to do today. It is 7th, no, it's 8th today. Is it 8th? Actually, it's 9th. Sorry, it's 9th today, and the January vlog just went up yesterday. I need to do some, uh, some pushing for the video for it this morning. Um, and social media is stressing me a little bit. Like, I don't feel like I've been in the social media headspace for a bit. And the fact that, you know, you have to constantly show up well. So I was telling you guys that you're going to see last night, <laughs> that you're going to see my hair this morning. So I did manage to slick it into a bun. I do want to wear an extension, but I don't know that I want to wear it now. That I want to wear an extension. I tried to get it as flat as possible. I could put a few pins like here and there, but I tried to get it as flat as I possibly could and to, you know, control my edges. I may have put just a little bit much of gel over here because it's kind of flaking. After I had put um, Eco Styler, I put some got to be glue, and I don't know if this still fleek but i've just found that when i put got to be glue um on my hair it does not move and i'm looking to not have to make my hair every day and just have it you know lay down as flat as it possibly can and this is working just fine so the difference of what i usually do and what i did this time was i did straighten my hair just a little bit uh so that it could lie flatter uh i used my handy dandy the dry that i've talked about in this video here and it did a beautiful job really um so it took me a whole afternoon uh, i started doing my hair at maybe two two just after one just after one i undid my twist the last twist that you saw in part of this vlog, the last twist that you saw. So I finished undoing the twist of my hair and I pre pooed then I went in and washed my hair and deep conditioned it, then came on and straightened it a little bit and laid it down. So I was finishing at around 7.15. Took me a whole afternoon to do that. And then now it's dry. It's a little bit flaky. On the camera, it doesn't look flaky but in real life it is a little bit flaky but whoever's coming to my head really and so i trying to see if i can keep this hair in and flat and looking like this for two weeks including working out and sweating so that's that's crazy um i want to see how long it can i I could just as well add some gel on top, but then that's going to flick like really bad. And I don't want to do that. So, so far, we're doing well. My face has been doing... <sighs> My face has been stressing me, by the way. Um, the I had breakouts. I think it was like mask knee, uh over here. Now, it's pretty chill. I did put some pimple patches and worked on my thread and just just tried to 
be keen on my skincare and it's it's chilling out i do still have marks the way i was telling you in the last vlog about all this anti dark mark things i don't think they help me in any way shape or form but then whatever but so far i'm having like some of the best skin i've had in years i have really struggled with my skin and or maybe i just don't care anymore one of those so yeah i'm about to sit down and do some work we are burning that january candle we're burning the oh baby it's burning and this is such a dumb thing to do but yeah we're burning the january candle it's filling this room with vibes and it's also really hot yes and it's really filling the room with vibes i love it um i haven't decided what this month's candle is going to be i've been wondering whether i really need to buy a candle the finances i mentioned yesterday the finances i don't think they're financing very well Hmm, no. Oh, ah, I'm about to make an exciting purchase. I hope the next time I come on camera, uh, we're going to unbox that. This is really, really exciting. And I'm crossing my fingers that they're not cons because Instagram can show you things. But there's this mug that I've been looking for for so long. And I found it. And I just want to see. Anyway. Let's see you guys when we see you. So this is the day after Valentine's. Let me first stop looking very crusty. Look at my hair though. I washed my hair yesterday. I had this really kick ass bun. I think the last time I talked, I had this kick ass bun, which I had laid to the gods. And then it just started to flake. It was flaking real bad, like really, really bad, so I had to wash it. So yesterday for Valentine's, I had a three, was it three hours? Uh, three hours, almost three hour wash day. Baby just did my hair while we chatted really slow. I was having a very bad day yesterday, so he just did my hair for therapy. I forgot that there's something like that. Um, but yeah, he did my hair for therapy. It just yeah so he did my hair for therapy that was exciting that was interesting um i'm feeling so much better today i woke up i organized my closet the last time i think we talked it was such a mess i was like yo just just don't look at it but today it's looking really nice i can keep the door open um so i woke up and i did the, i organized the space so it looks a little bit better and i just wanted my clothes to be in a place where i can see them uh we're about to make a little transition and so it was important for me to organize that and i've just woke up i just woke up cleaning because the house was a mess we had a little weekend our weekend was really busy and we weren't at home so that kind of destabilized everything i was changing budget this morning um you know changing like budget laundry this morning so that was crazy um other than that we are good so i wanted to come here and say hi and also unbox something <laughs> i received okay that's not my number so i received a little a package um that i bought like i, I received it right this morning and or yesterday but i was in such a bad mood i did not even look at it um and oh by the way i didn't say i'm looking at the candle that we're burning today we're burning the midnight orchid uh by bunny sense it's a very tiny candle um from the christmas collection i still have that and i really like how it smells it's been on my nightstand uh, we just without burning and it's been smelling like really really good it's been giving the room some type of uh fragrance and then i'm burning that alongside uh the life is beautiful sea soul truth candle this one is from tack it's one of those ones that i was telling you that i don't fancy too much because it doesn't burn in the best way i could show you maybe i'll show you later but and then it has a very very um mild scent 
that barely throws. So they complement each other really well because Bunny has a really good um, throw. It has a really good throw. Uh, I got a package from Yanni Girl. So Yanni Girl is, is run by Kayla and it is a thrift store. But she just deals with suits usually. So I was looking for a blazer to add to my collection. And uh, I found her because it's kind of like affordable and accessible. I was, looking for, <laughs> I was looking at blazers and I really like blazers that I've seen that are from Mango, that are from zara we don't have zara here and so i was like i need a placeholder before i save up because god the mango prices like you really need to think before you make that purchase so i was trying to do that that was what i was trying so this came it is a skirt suit i was looking for the blazer not the skirt and Let's see how it is. This is the blazer that we got. Please tell me why. Why I look like this drunk uncles. You know this here drunk uncles? Who? Yeah. So this is the blazer that came with it. Um, this is me trying to be in focus. Um, so this is the blazer that came with it. Do I like it? I think it's really big. It doesn't even have like pad support or anything. I think it's really big. The height, that's the height. I don't know, it's not giving because I wanted a blazer that I could easily wear with like um, a pair of jeans or something. This is not giving that. So that's the height of the skirt. It's telling you, it really just covers everything that it needs to cover. It covers everything it needs to cover and nothing more. And that's the height of the skirt. So, <laughs> this is how it's supposed Maybe together it's a look, but <laughs> I don't know. I can't take this size of cut, this size of, I can't take this size of dress, this size of coat very, very seriously, but I don't know, I'm just going to be chill like this until Boo comes, ask him what he thinks. So I like the fit of the skirt, which by the way, I was not even looking for. I feel like this summer piano girls, this this summer piano people i feel like i'm a piano girl so like i should just start you know just doing the thing um this skirt feels like i borrowed my like a child borrowing my clothes um so i don't know maybe it's a thing maybe it's a style but i do feel like it's a little bit big i'll try and see if i can style it but i i would say the coat is a miss Maybe, uh, or if you wait together, it can work. But I would say the coat is really... <laughs> the coat, no! The coat is not doing what it's supposed to do, so... Oh, come on. I wanted to open like this. It's a little bit washed out. This package with you guys. They're marked. So I received them on the day before we started to. Uh, I knew that we were moving. So I couldn't unpack them. But now I can. But this is the mug I'm talking about. Oh my god, it's so light. This is the mug I'm talking about. I am so stoked. To have some coffee. I'm so stoked to have some tea. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my god. How cute is that? Um, 
Okay, I don't have things to waste, but I because I need to wash it. But look at it, how cute is that? Um, so I got this one. I'm going to tag the store that I got it from below, but I got them like last week. I haven't used them before, and I cannot wait to start to have my tea. We've moved to summer where it's a little bit cooler, and so I I can finally have tea. And so these mugs come in handy. We initially did not really have mugs, and we never bought them because we didn't find ones that made us happy or some that just looked nice and so getting this is such a like game changer it's such a uh, um i can't wait to start taking coffee in the mornings uh once settle in and figure out my shit i don't know i i, I don't know about february candle but we are going to have lots of homework though lots of homework so i'm finishing february's vlog okay I'm hoping there's not too much echo, even if I feel like there is. Um, so I'm finishing uh, February's vlog with this package. Um, my table cannot stop that. So this is a bustle from she wears. We're going to open this to begin the next vlog, so I'll keep that because I'm still waiting for something else. Um, it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm still waiting for some, oops, I'm still waiting for something else. So, so this is exciting. It's a toilet set. It's coming with Ah, it is a toilet set. Every year I have this thing of replacing my toilet brush because, yo, I grew up with that, the same toilet brush for the whole of my existence in my parents' house. And it used to disgust me so much. Like, I did not like it at all. And so every year I try and change my toilet brush. The last one I had stayed two years, which was not ideal. But I try and change every year. Uh, my toilet brush every year just as a bare minimum. I'm sure I, I could do sooner, but so far it's every year. So it's coming in some pieces. Let me just go you to my mess. One minute. Okay. Okay, so it's coming in various pieces. There is the big piece, which is the bin. There we go. So that's the top part of the bin so that it can dance dance around. I think I will have to buy lining paper for it. So that's the top of the bin. This. So fancy. And then um and then there is this. So this is Wait. Oh, it's the toilet brush. So, good. This is so much fun. So, this is the toilet brush I'm now fixing. <gasps> the black one's so cute. Okay, this toilet brush is tiny, but I'm going to just keep, keep it. Oh my god. Okay, I don't, I will say, I don't fancy this so much. Okay, I've not fixed it properly. Oh, okay, fine. I'll say I don't fancy this so much just because... Um, that's for that, but... That doesn't make sense. This does not make sense. I don't fancy it so much because... What? Did I miss a part? 
Probably. Anyway, so this is the toilet brush. Just fix that. Oops. Then this is our thingy for our hand wash. I'm just going to buy like some nice body wash and put in here. This is our thingy for a hand wash. It looks really cute. And then there is this. Um, which is something. There is this, which is also something. I think this is a soap dish. But do I even use solid soap though? And then this, I don't know what this is, but we're going to figure it out. And then there is this cutie, which is our toothbrush and toothpaste handle thing. We've been putting it in our mug. Shane. So that's that's cute. This is what I don't understand. Um, I need to figure out just through the picture. One minute. I need to figure out what this is just through the picture. Anyway, thanks for hanging out with me um, this month. It's been a roller coaster, but a fun one. Mm -hmm. we, we, we didn't have a candle, and I don't think we're going to have. I think in March we'll have to, just so that we can, uh, what was it called? We can make up for the ones that we haven't had. In fact, I think I know where I'm going to get the candles from. Yeah, so we're gonna do the February and March one next month. Um, which yeah. That's quite something. Unless I change my mind, that's pretty much how it's gonna run. Uh yeah. And yes. Uh thanks for hanging out with me. I'm gonna see you guys next month. Mm, for now. So bye.